Hi everyone, it's Ashley. So, uh, when we were wrapping up with our topic for yesterday's episode, uh, we decided to chat for a bit about the finale of Game of Thrones, uh, season seven, and it sort of got away from us. So, uh, we ended up talking for quite a while, and I figured since the uh, regular episode was coming out a little late because of the holiday weekend, I would put together a little bonus for you made out of all of that nonsense and give you a little twofer. So uh, if you are planning on watching season seven finale of Game of Thrones and haven't yet, do not listen to this episode for sure. Uh, But it's mostly just me like whining about the books. Uh, So I hope you enjoy that. Uh, okay, anyway, here you go. So I have one more topic. Oh, good. That I, that I hope we can discuss. Yeah, let's do. The Game of Thrones finale. You know what? You're going to have to tell me because I don't watch the show at all. Uh. You don't watch it at all? Oh my goodness, I didn't realize that. No, I, I'm a book reader. I, I can't watch the show. I am kind of okay, curious. Well, I, it was, I, here's the thing. I it was good. don't necessarily expect anything that's happening in the show at this point to happen in the books at all. Like, I'm approaching it from yeah. this point of view of, like, it's an entirely unrelated thing, and yeah. maybe mm-hmm. those things will happen in the book. Maybe not. There is no way to know. I did hear some things. Okay. I did hear uh, some some... I mean, you can't avoid it, but... Yeah, so Daenerys and John hooked up. That's so weird to me. Like, that's sort of the... <laughs> that's the last thing I expected because it's the most obvious thing to happen. You know what I mean? See, yeah. And and it was obvious in the show, too, because they had been flirting for basically the whole season. Um, I mean, and in the books, they have not remotely met, them. but... Yeah, yeah. It, see... <laughs> Everybody's just so attracted to both of them that they weren't. The, 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 they're literally excusing the incest. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, she's a Targaryen. That's just what they do, okay? Like, Targaryen. They're, if they're Targaryens, um, it's like, who cares anymore? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least they're and, not siblings. And, uh, <laughs> it's worse than that, I think. It, she, she's his aunt. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's younger than him. But she's his aunt by blood. Yes, but Jamie and Cersei are twins. I think that's worse. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's yeah. worse. No, yeah, that's 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 worse. Yeah. <laughs> and and like we all, we also use the excuse that like yeah, Targaryens are all about Targaryens are Targaryens. That's probably why they're fireproof. They're not <laughs> fireproof. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, are they not in the books? No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, that whole thing with the dragon eggs and Khal Drogo's funeral pyre, that was a miracle. Danny can absolutely... Okay. I mean, she she enjoys heat. Like, she likes to take very, very hot baths and stuff. But if she's, like, stepped in a fire, uh-huh. she would burn normally. It was just that one time. Okay. Yeah, no, in the show, she's, <laughs> just, she's definitely burned down buildings and walked out of yeah, them I know. multiple times. <laughs> I know. But, yeah, no, I mean, interesting. But, yeah, I, I didn't expect... I, I didn't, and I still don't expect Danny and John to hook up just because it's sort of the thing I feel like other authors would do, and so George R.R. Yeah. R. Martin wouldn't. Because, you know, it, See, it's like, oh, yes, A Song of Ice and Fire. I get it. He's Jon Snow, and she's the fire lady, and they're going to hook up, and it's the song. But I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. See, people totally, like, as far as anyone I've talked to at least— has wanted it to happen, of course and I'm not upset about it. <laughs> but what we're really, what we're really interested in happening next is once he finds out his lineage, then what? Uh, yeah, I mean, because what you is, found is out, he gonna like? We just found out. Well, we we knew, but like the characters in the show just found out that that he's the child of Lyanna and Rhaegar. Well, here's the thing. Okay, I did hear a little bit about that. And, all right, so we found out that his real name is Aegon, correct? Yep, yep, mm mm-hmm. Okay, here's why I'm calling bullshit. (laughs) (laughs) In the books, Rhaegar has children with his first wife, Elia Martell. And Mm -hmm. his son's name is Aegon. 
Yeah. He already had a kid named Aegon. And, and in mm. fact, he was supposedly murdered by the mountain, but then maybe he wasn't. And there's this character named Young Griff who is supposed to be him. In Like, he, somebody, like, switched him out with a peasant baby, and that was who was killed. And he grew up in secret, and he's going off to try mm. to marry Daenerys to, like, do a Targaryen thing. Um, and so it's weird to me that they would be like, hmm, maybe... Aegon and John are the same character. Like, I don't know if they just decided to take young Griff and John and, like, smoosh them yeah, together. Yeah, I think they just wanted to simplify things. I think they just wanted to simplify but, things, But, so it probably. is fascinating to me, though, that they would be like, yeah, he'll just be Aegon. And it's like, wait, but Lyanna and Rhaegar wouldn't have a child named Aegon because Rhaegar and Elia already had a child named Aegon. Why would he have two sons named Aegon? That's weird. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Um, so basically what happened was, uh, Gilly, yeah. Sam's girl, <laughs> was pouring through the notes that he had copied down from the Grand Maester that he had performed an annulment for Rhaegar and then a secret wedding. Mm-hmm. Um, and he just was sort of like, he like, was like, okay, Gilly, we gotta go. Like he, he didn't even acknowledge what she was just saying. Um, and then when, when they end up at Winterfell, Sam tells, um, Bran and he makes it off to be like, it's his idea. So people were like, give Gilly credit. Oh, Sam, don't be that guy. <laughs> exactly. Don't be that guy. And then, and then, and then the fact that Bran didn't know, like, and he had to like, he's like, oh, like he, he knew, he knew a little bit, but he didn't know like that he was the, yeah, he the, didn't know all uh, the bits. He didn't know uh, that John is the heir to the Iron Throne. Yeah, yeah, he's got more of a claim. In if that's true, he's got more of a claim than than Daenerys, Daenerys does. Yeah. But in this world which is, of Westeros, really what yeah. does claim to a throne even mean anymore? What which line of well, succession matters? <laughs> it does matter, sort of, because we found out that um, I don't remember his first name, but uh, King Baratheon. Oh, Robert. His whole rebellion, Robert Baratheon's whole rebellion thing was built on a lie. Well, I mean, the lie that Rhaegar kidnapped and raped Lyanna? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like, uh, we've, uh, I mean, here's the thing, like, book readers, we've, we've, we've been, uh, we've been yeah. kind of good on that for a while. But, I mean, here's the real thing, though. I mean, it's not, it, it, Rhaegar's dad was the king. Like, yeah, Rhaegar did a thing that made Robert mad, uh, <laughs> but, like, you don't depose the, the king. The king needed to be overthrown anyway. Yeah, he yeah. needed to be overthrown anyway. Like, you don't depose <laughs> the king because his son kidnapped somebody. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Like, true. it just kind of, my understanding of Robert's Rebellion is it was just a thing that just sort of spiraled into itself. Like, it started out as just sort of a conflict yeah. and turned into a war, and then they're like, you know what? Fuck the Targaryens. <laughs> Robert didn't want to be king anyway. Um, and then also, I, I might have misinterpreted the scene, but it also seemed like Littlefinger was also sort of responsible for the rebellion. I've been hearing stuff about Littlefinger, and I'm curious what happened. He got killed. I, well, yeah, but like, what? what's the deal? Like, So he was trying to pit Sansa and Arya against each other because they reunited at Winterfell. Mm -hmm. And they have opposite personalities because they've been through some shit. Mm -hmm. But they're sisters, and they're like, we've both been through some shit, we're still together. We're Starks, goddammit. (laughs) Yes, exactly, we're Starks. And then, um, so, uh, we only saw stuff from certain points of view, so we didn't know what was really going on. So in the the finale, we saw stuff from Littlefinger's point of view, and it seemed like he, he was like, okay... Bring Arya to the to the 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 throne room and or the great hall, and we're gonna deal with her. Like, cause he was planting seeds that that she was trying to take the take Winterfell from from Sansa. <laughs> so he's there on the side, and Arya walks up front, and there's guards all over the place. And um, then Sansa's like, so uh, describing all of the all of the crimes that have been committed, and is like, so how do you plead, uh, Lord Baelish? And he's like, what? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> what? What? Well, yeah. I and mean, it was the, only a and then matter Bran, of time. 
oh, only a matter of time. And then Bran's there too, and he's just like there with the receipts. He's like letting Sansa know all the stuff that he was actually responsible for. <laughs> That's and good. And Arya was letting them know like all the stuff that he did to her and and like and that's when they're like you have been the single reason for the downfall of this family well yeah and And i mean little fingers got some shit going on like i do not doubt his his sort of involvement in all of the shenanigans like he's the guy who you know says the right thing to the wrong person and makes everything go crazy and then uh, either the episode before or two before um uh, Sansa or Arya got um, the dagger that was used to either I think it was attack um, their dad on the, in the first episode. To, you mean to um, attack Bran? Try and kill him. It, it might have been Bran. Yeah, Bran was them. the one who was there was an attempted assassination. That was it. That was it. That was it. When he was when he um, was in a coma. Yeah, and so they get that dagger, and Arya kills Baelish with that dagger because it's Baelish's dagger. Interesting. Yeah, so... Interesting, yeah. I'm curious... He, he did. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I fully expect, like, the when I was reading um, A Dance with Dragons, I believe is the one that had... I can't keep the last two straight because they, uh, they occur <laughs> concurrently, and so I can't keep track yeah. of what was in which book because they're simultaneous. But um, the mm-hmm. latest stuff with Sansa in the books is Littlefinger, like, taking her in and taking him under her uh, under his wing um and she's like yeah. learning mm-hmm. how to play the game from him and so uh, you know okay. immediately i was like okay what's gonna happen is that she's gonna get really good at this shit and then she's gonna like betray him and like you know the the pupil surpasses the master like i know that something like yeah. that's gonna go down where she like plays the game better than him and wins but i don't know that it's gonna go down like that in the books we'll see It'll probably be similar, um, but yeah, it was it was it was satisfying. But some people were upset because they're like, because we were sort of being misdirected. But I thought it was it was a good way to do it because otherwise we would have known it would have been less of a surprise. Mm-hmm. Like it was definitely like a worthy worthy to keep it a surprise that he was about to die. Yeah, that's fun. I mean, and that's the kind of stuff that absolutely happens in the books. Like um, one of my favorite examples of that is way back when Daenerys is buying the unsullied and yeah. um she like she, it totally seems like she's gonna give away a dragon like in the, mm-hmm. the way it's written it's like oh no danny you're really gonna do it you're really gonna give away one of your dragons for this army and then immediately she's like okay so these guys belong to me now all right i'm burning you alive everybody kill everybody <laughs> like, it's like, okay good job daenerys mm-hmm. yes that's great i'm proud of you <laughs> <laughs> Um, and you probably, I think you probably saw my tweets about this, but, uh, I, I'm also obsessed with Tormund. Tormund, giant he's my Spain. Current, he's my current favorite character because he's the only fucking queer character left. <laughs> and he's not even, like, canonically queer. It's just, like, assum- assuming. Yeah. Yeah, he, there's, he's <sighs> interesting in the books. Um, I'm not sure what yeah. his, what his game is. I, I, there's definitely more to him than meets the eye in the books. Mm-hmm. He's got some. He's got some plans. But yeah, I mean, it's so funny to to like think about how long ago the last stuff that happened in the books happened in the show. Yeah, like the li- literally the last scene in the latest book was John being murdered. Yeah, so that, that's, <laughs> that's a season ag- or two, almost two full seasons ago. Yeah, it's way back. So like, there's just a lot of like. And I, yeah. my understanding of the way that they're doing the show is that Martin told them sort of in broad strokes where the series is going and where it's going to end, and it's up to them to mm-hmm. sort of fill it in how they will. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm curious <laughs> about how they're going to match okay. up. So the Night King killed one of Daenerys' dragons. I heard. And then turned it into an ice dragon. Uh, Everyone's been waiting for that ice dragon. Okay. It's not an ice dragon, though. It was breathing blue fire, but it wasn't ice. Was it not? Which I was a little disappointed with. Yeah. I mean, it's a zombie dragon. Yeah, it's, it's a... And it's blue fire. It's a but it, but it, white dragon. It's, like, just blue fire. Yeah. Uh, yeah exactly. I, yeah, I guess and it's so, just resurrected the way and, they do the, the normal whites. Yeah. I wish it would have been ice instead of blue fire, because it would have been cool. But And then song of ice and fire, duh. But, um... 
Well, yeah, everyone's yeah, it was blue fire anticipating. He, he blew up the wall. Everyone's anticipating an ice dragon, um, for funny, yeah. funny kind of reasons. Like, um, he wrote this book, Martin, before he wrote, um, a Game of Thrones, or maybe, maybe like just way back, like you know, after he yeah. wrote like the mm-hmm. first book or something, he wrote this this other story about this little girl who like befriends an ice dragon and rides on an ice dragon. Um, yeah. And at the end of the story, it melts into a puddle that is always cold. It turns into, like, a pool of always cold water. And people make mm-hmm. the connection that there is a... In the Godswood at Winterfell, there is a pool of water that is always cold. And people are like, mm-hmm. is that that ice dragon? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Could be. Could be. I don't know. <laughs> they, do, they do a lot of things like that, and there's so many theories about it all, too. Mm-hmm. There's so many. There's so many theories. The one that I still, I mean, like, I'm beca- I'm becoming less attached to it as, you know, finding out this stuff in the show. Like, no, John, like, actually is the child of Rhaegar and Lyanna. And, like, maybe that happening in the show is pretty much confirmation that that's what's going to happen in the books. But I had mm-hmm. kind of enjoyed the theory that actually um, that baby wasn't John. It was Daenerys. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, cuz mm-hmm. Daenerys was born during the war. She I mean she was yeah. she's actually younger than Jon by a little bit. And uh and that, you know, I I like it because it informs a lot of interesting stuff about Ned. Um yeah. the way that he reacted to Robert wanting to assassinate her. You know, he was mm-hmm. really, really against it, like, to the point where he's like, I'm quitting this crappy job if you assassinate this girl that I don't know. You yeah. know, and it's like, wow, why are you, like, so, so opposed, like, so violently opposed? And he has his dream about Leanna's death right after Robert proposes that they need to do something about her. And, and I, you know, it seemed like, oh, maybe she's, you know, said, you know, promise me you'll keep my baby safe. And he, like, sent her away, um, you know, across the narrow sea to protect her. And so now and he's like, okay, boy, she, that's all taken care of. She'll be fine. And then um, Robert wants to kill her. And he's like, that's my niece. You can't. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, it kind of seems like maybe that's not the case. But it would have been interesting. Yeah, if, there's, there's uh, a lot of yeah, there's a lot of really interesting things, and like, I think it would be really interesting. I think it would be interesting if he challenged Daenerys. Mm-hmm. It's not going to happen because <laughs> people would hate that. Um, I think that would be interesting, and I also, I'm thinking that he's going to be like, "Oh, I love her so much, and I'm not creeped out, so <laughs> I'll be the king, and she can be the ruling queen." Like, yeah. I don't but, know, man. Uh, it can't end that happily. <laughs> true. I just don't and, think. And it honestly, can. I think he's gonna. Re- I think he's gonna reject his heritage because mm-hmm. he's always been throughout the whole series. Like, he's been a person that was um, applauded for his deeds, not for who he was. And that's always been. Well, who he yeah, is, because you know? he's a snow. He's not. Yeah, he has no yeah. name. He has no identity. Um. I, well, and yeah, I'm. So it seems like the show has pretty much dropped the whole, like, significance of the, the dragon must have three heads thing. Yeah, I don't, that they don't even mention that You don't that even know ever, what, you, really. what I'm talking about right now? Well, it's the crest, is the crest of the... Well, the... yeah, but it was this concept that Rhaegar particularly was, like, obsessed with about mm-hmm. the dragon must have three heads. It's this, like, Targaryen thing, and it's sort of a question mark as to what precisely that means but a lot of people are taking it to mean that Daenerys needs two husbands um, so that she oh. and t- her two husbands can each have a dragon okay well but, and now, now one of the dragons, dragons is dead so. so I don't even know like it seems like <laughs> whoop, okay never mind like that's super oh, far out the window there's also another really cool theory another really cool theory that my sister mentioned to me um, that or might have been my coworker. I've been talking to a lot of people <laughs> um, that um Bran might be the Night King. Yeah, I've heard that one. We'll see. Well, and that's the thing is that in the books, that's I mean, okay, there, there there's a character called who's referred to as the Knights King with an S, like yeah. like 
like a mm-hmm. possessive S. Um, but mm-hmm. he's not appeared yet. He's just been refer- he's like a legendary figure who like went off yeah. and seemed to marry a like an other or something a White Walker mm-hmm. for you show watchers. Uh, like a, some sort of an icy dead woman, um, and he married her mm-hmm. and like became the Night's King. But he, there's no mm-hmm. figure of like a, a very important White Walker who like does stuff. Like we have, we haven't seen any sort of. I mean, there's definitely evidence of organization among them, but we haven't seen any stratification. We haven't seen any particularly significant figures within their ranks. They just sort of show up and kill everybody, and we don't have time to know who okay. they are. Yeah, in the show, they're starting they're starting to show the organization because one of the um, the whites, the upper, or I always get it confused. The the one of the the sort of leadery ones mm-hmm. was killed, and then all of the resurrected dead died. Okay, so they like are under their so, thrall. They're like puppets. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So there's the there's the. I, again, I get the terminology confused, especially because I don't see it written. And whites is not the same as a white. Walker yeah. So in the books, the the, uh, the spelling is different. Yeah. Eh? yeah the, in the <laughs> books, and and I I mean like it's it's yeah because it, it, I don't even know in the show if they differentiate. Obviously, there is a differentiation, but I don't know if they have separate terms in the books. The ice elemental beings are called yeah. the others okay and then their resurrected humans are called the whites are okay yeah yeah they don't have the others i think those are the white walkers and then the whites are just the, the resurrected so anyway once they kill a white walker their enthralled whites die mm-hmm. so they're now they're like oh if we kill the night king all of them are gonna die that's um I mean that follows that tracks. <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. At this point in the so, books So that's like another thing. Yeah, there's like no such even like consideration. The only run-ins with them have been like terrifying emergency situations like they don't know anything yeah. about it. They mm-hmm. don't know what's going on. Like we haven't gotten to the point where there's any sort of like plan in place or like Yeah, it, they're just like, "Oh no, this happened. We didn't expect it to happen what do we do and everybody dies so (laughs) you know like the the big when they're ranging beyond the wall and then they get like totally just messed up by all of them um that's the primary time that that's that anything like that has happened um yeah and that that mostly happened in in season five yeah um they had a bunch of stuff like that happen and then now the the last shot of of the season um, was the White Walkers go, getting through the wall with the dragon. So shit's gonna go down. Yeah, it sounds like it. I mean, and I am curious. Like a part of me is a little bit like, oh, I don't know if I want to know this stuff because what if yeah. it happens in the books? But uh, I just It'll need be to different. Even if it's similar, yeah, I need know? to just put it out of my head because frankly, like I knew about important stuff that you know when i was first reading the books like i read the books after a few seasons of the show so there was i it was Mm -hmm. unavoidable that i knew stuff that was going to happen and it was still good like i knew about the red wedding but it was still crazy to read like it might have been crazier if uh you know if i didn't know and it was just this total shock but Mm -hmm. like good stuff shouldn't be ruined by spoilers yeah, you know what um, I mean. In the books, do you know who? Yeah, in the books, do you know who killed Joffrey for sure? No. So Littlefinger okay, has in the show. Yeah, Littlefinger has claimed that it was him and Lady yeah, Elena. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Then, then, then you know it was Elena. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what that's what Littlefinger said. Um, but you know, yeah, I'm so he was skept- mostly telling the truth. Yeah. But, well, we'll Although see. Although he might have also been crediting himself a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because I don't think Elena would really be siding with him too much. The interesting thing about that conversation, though, is that he sort of leads Sansa to that conclusion without actually saying mm-hmm. it himself, which makes me suspicious yeah. that maybe none of it was true. I mean, like, sure, that's what they decided to go with in the show, but. That might not be true in the books because um, Littlefinger was like, think, Sansa, like, did you, uh, you know, did you receive any anything new? And she's like, oh, well, I've got this hairnet that was new. And he's like, yeah, that, that prison. Now, um, think, did anyone perhaps handle your hairnet uh, 
at any point. And she was like, well, Lady Elena sort of fixed it. And he's like, uh-huh. So, like, she's the one who sort of <laughs> says everything. Like, yeah. it seems like, oh, he's just leading her to, to find the conclusion. But maybe he was just making her make something up for him. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. So who's to say? I, I mean, we'll see. Like, I, I was full willing to accept that as the truth when I first read it. And then I got a little mm-hmm. skeptical because Littlefinger never tells the truth about anything at any point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we So we basically knew that the wall was going to fall. We knew the dragon was coming because of what had happened in the previous episode. So there wasn't a ton of surprises in the finale. The surprise was um, Littlefinger dying. And then honestly, the most surprising part for me was uh, Cersei and Jaime broke up. Man, it took that long? Right? I mean, well... He's a puppy dog to her, but like... Yeah, in the books at this point, they're pretty much broken up already. Yeah. Well, he was just sort of clinging on to the idea of them ruling together. Um, Huh, that's kind of surprising. She was was, was just totally using him. Yeah, well, she always was. Yeah, I feel like at this point in the books, um, he's getting to a point where he's realizing this and he's pretty much over her. Well, and, and I think that the big difference is the um, conversation that occurs between Tyrion and Jamie when Jamie frees Tyrion um, after mm-hmm. Joffrey's death. Uh, it goes very, very different in the books. Because in the show, it's like this brotherly, like, oh, you were the one that I always liked. Uh, you know, thanks for everything. Catch you later, bro. Um, but in the books, it's terrible, and Tyrion hates Jamie now forever. <laughs> oh, wow. Because. Jamie admits that he was complicit in the murder of his first wife, Taisha, and it turns out mm-hmm. Taisha wasn't a prostitute. She was a girl who really loved him. And Tyrion's like, yeah, are no, you we knew that, yeah. fucking mm-hmm. kidding me? And so, like, and that's when Jamie, he's like, I have to tell him the truth now because if I don't, I will never get a chance to again and I need to make this right. And so when Tyrion mm-hmm. leaves, he's like, fuck you, fuck this whole family, I hate everyone, <laughs> if I ever see any of you again, I will murder you myself. And and, yeah. and and he ends up throwing some barbs Jamie's way by suggesting to him that Cersei's been sleeping around. Yeah, um, which is true. <laughs> yes, it is true. She has been. And so, and this, like, is just eating away at Jamie. Like, it's just killing mm-hmm. him that the thought that she would have been unfaithful to him and he's like realizing like maybe she's not this perfect person that i worshipped like maybe she's just an awful person who's using me and yeah. everyone and i don't think i want to do this thing anymore mm-hmm. so they're i think at the, they're they're on their way already um so it's kind of a surprise that it took this long in the show it was it was a beautiful scene though so basically he was like so she double crossed. So so they all met up for a summit, and they brought a, a white to show her like, "Hey, we need to stop having a war so that we can deal with this." <laughs> and she was like, "And she was like, this is this is crazy. I'm terrified. We got to deal with it." Um, she she was kind of on the edge, but then Tyrion actually had a conversation, and there was like a great reconciliation that happened. Hmm. Um, right, but it was all for show on her part. Well, yeah. Um, and she was gonna double cross them. She's like. I'm not going to move my armies. I'm not going to help. I'm going to stay here. And then Jamie was like, what the fuck after all that, really? So he's like, I'm going to leave. I'm going to go help them. Um, and she's like, no, you're not. And then she motions for Sir Gregor to kill him <laughs> instead of him leaving. And he's like, you don't have the guts or something like that. And he just walks out. <sighs> and I was like, whoa. Stand up to her, <laughs> Jamie. You're better than that. Right, and that's he's like the only person that she can do that to. Well, actually, that almost happened similarly with Tyrion. Like, she threatened to kill him, and he's just like, mm-hmm, sure, he didn't. He didn't back down. So, so really, like her family just didn't back down, and and that was like she wasn't used to that. Yeah, yeah, she's used um, to just being able to walk all over them. She, yeah, she's my favorite character, I think. Yeah, and I know so many people hate her. Well, I think her characterization in the show is really, really different from the books. I'm sure. Yeah. And part of it, I think, is being in her head. I think we've talked about this before, how, yeah. like, she's just yeah, really, have. really awful like the in the books, about, yeah. but she's still very interesting because you get to be in her head and experience her motivations, and that just doesn't work on TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so basically we're like, we see her actions, and we're like, you're a evil, evil, pure evil. <laughs> but then you sort of, like, but then you start to think about, like, why she's doing it, 
and like her twisted worldview. Yeah. And for sure. Like what's because we don't we don't know what is like making her do like so she revealed that and again it might be a lie that she's pregnant again mm. and she said it's Jamie's but mm. we think it's not. Yeah, I'm skeptical of that. Um, yeah. Um. So like she's sort of saying like. If we were to destroy the White Walkers, like, it would be just to protect this baby, but I want this baby to be king. So it's like, uh, it's like, what are you even thinking about? Well, yeah, and that's the, that's the fascinating thing about her character in the books is you come to realize, like, she's just really emotional. Uh, you know, she, she fancies herself to be, like, a, another Tywin, but she's super duper not. She's kind of the opposite of Tywin. Because Tywin was a very cold and calculating mm-hmm. and unemotional, um... And and no, she's, Cersei she's is the mad queen. yeah she Cersei is just pure emotion and she's you know she's yeah, ruthless she's like her sure. father but she's just she can't control herself and 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 you know you come to sort of pity her I think in the books where it's like oh mm-hmm. yeah I like I can't root for her because she's terrible and would make a terrible ruler because she just can't handle anything like she couldn't actually be like the monarch of a country <laughs> she's not capable mm-hmm. of it but. It's mm-hmm. like, I get, like, what you're going through, and you're a really sad and messed up person, but you're also the worst. Like, she's really terrible. <laughs> she's really, really yeah. terrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she does seem really, she seems a lot easier to root for and and, and like in the show. Let me just say, the costumes help. <laughs> <laughs> the costumes for season seven are, like, Phenomenal. They look really so cool. So basically, e- every scene she's in like some sort of black leather thing with like jeweled epaulets and like a, yeah. a, a diadem. It's amazing. And I'm just like, oh. She seems really, really rad. <laughs> some kind of awesome Bond villain queen. But <laughs> oh yes. Um, so I've got, I gotta say I've seen some stills from like scenes in uh, uh, at Dragonstone and I for the life of me can't figure out what the climate's supposed to be because there's all kinds of states address <laughs> happening in Dragonstone. It's like so, John's um, wearing his like big like Night's Watch furs but then like other people are yeah. wearing much less and it's like how who what is this climate? So he's he's literally always in fur. Yeah. Like the thickest fur he no matter where he's at. He wouldn't be Jon Snow if he wasn't wearing furs. <laughs> yeah. Um, but but from from what I gather, it's like Northern Ireland, like chilly and, and yeah. And well, and of, that's that would have been yeah. my assumption. But then I've seen some people who are just not quite appropriately dressed, and I, I it makes me laugh. Like they didn't think about that. Yeah, I think it's like the 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 when they're indoors, they have heating somehow. <laughs> yeah, the only castle with central heating is Winterfell. <laughs> they do. They have central heating. Did you not know this? Yeah. I no, I knew that. They, they. Yeah. I think they touch on it really early in the show. Yeah, it, it's 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 mentioned extremely early. I think it's in the first chapter. Um, from Cat's point of view, uh, they've got they've got hot spring water pumping through the walls. Mm-hmm. It's fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want I want this next book to come out so badly. Like I just. I'm sure you do. Yeah. I would give anything for that book. It's really awful. No, actually, I, I well, have... Well, let's just hope he finishes it. Yeah. Ugh. I, I have been actually... I did watch a little bit of the first season because my dad mm-hmm. recently started watching it for the first time. Mm-hmm. And, like, mm-hmm. I was trying so hard. Like, I had to, like, make myself be good because, like, I'm sitting there watching it just like, <laughs> no, that's not... It's not like that. You're wrong. <laughs> Don't... I'm, like I'm fascinated by the amount of scenes that happen in the show that are impossible in the books because they occur between characters who and none of them are point of view characters in the book. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny like all the conversations between like Varus and Littlefinger, none of those happened. And like all of Actually, the Actually, he's probably he's he's also one of my favorite characters. Varus, so. yeah, he's great. Yeah. He's really I like I'm still not sure in the books what his game is like i'm not sure whose side he's on or what he really wants he's like i want the what's best for the realm and he seems like a targaryen loyalist but i don't know i don't know what he's doing all i know is that he must have gotten another job that is sort of filmed similarly to this one or like concurrently because this season he is real tan compared to what he usually was that's interesting yeah he's supposed to be all like pink and pale and 
I don't know. He's been outdoors a yeah, lot I think more. He, <laughs> true. Yeah, they they did sail across the ocean. That'll tan you up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> mm-hmm.